All right, so in the last video, we went over the scope functions of let, run, and also. And in this video, we will continue with that and we will be going over apply and with. So let's get started immediately by creating an example of apply. So to do this, we are first going to have to create a class. So we're gonna call this class person and it's gonna take three parameters. So it's gonna be name of type string. Then it's gonna take an age of type int and a city of type string. And inside here, we're gonna type in var name and that's going to equal the name. Then we're gonna do var age, which will equal the age and var city, which is going to equal the city. And we are going to add a simple function that says function introduction and write print line hello, get out of here. And write in hello, my name is name, I am age years old and I live in city dot. Perfect. And that will take care of everything we need in the class. Now we can go back to our function main and inside here we are going to instantiate the person and we are going to write value even is going to equal person and we need to pass some arguments into our constructor. So we're going to write even and then age of 37 and finally city as Copenhagen. Now let's pretend we want to edit these values. So usually you would write even dot name or age and you would say 27 or even dot name and say his name is actually Tom. But this can be quite demanding when you have a lot of values to work with. So a way to simplify this is actually by typing in even and calling dot apply. So in here we don't have to ever write even again because it already knows that we're referring to even. So we can just type in name and set that to Tom. And then we can also call age and say 27 and we can also change the city why not and say Berlin and we can also write introduction and when we click on run you will see it says hello my name is Tom I'm 27 years old and I live in Berlin so it completely overrided all of these arguments and it only took adding the dot apply keyword so this really simplifies what we need to do when it comes to a lot of values that have to be changed and you will see in Android Studio that this will become a personal favorite of yours. It's probably the one I use the most. All right, but let's get rid of even. And let's move on to the next scope function. And this one is called with. So luckily we already created a class which will be applicable to this with function. So we can just go ahead and create a new person, value max equals person. And we need to give him a name. So he is max, he is 77 years old, and he lives in Copenhagen as well. And down here, we're just going to write with, and we are going to write the receiver, which is going to be max. And inside there, we can write print line, and we're going to add these single quotation marks and write with is called with argument this. And this will refer to max. So it's just going to print what that is essentially, what is the code of max. And then let's edit his age. So a lot like apply, you can still edit and change values. And we're going to change his age to 29. And let's also change his name to Luigi. And finally, we will write print line name changed to, and we will grab that name and age changed to and then we will also grab the H. So with that being said, we don't have to add a print line statement under. This will just take Max as the receiver and it will print all of this. So yeah, the Kotlin documentation essentially says that this should be seen as in the code, with can be read as with this object, do the following. So we have Max as the object and with Max, we want to do all of this. And inside the with block, you are more than welcome to return a value but uh, I don't have to do it here. It doesn't really matter for this context. So we will just go ahead and click on run. And you will see that the first print line will tell you that with is called with argument person at this crazy code. So that is the code of max. And that is what happens when you create the object of person. And then we have another print line that says name changed to Luigi and age changed to 29. So that all happened inside the with block and, and that's practically what you would use a with function for. But with that being said, I believe I've covered everything I had to with the basic five scope functions. In the next video, I'm just going to cover one last thing and that is take if 
and take on less and what that means in Kotlin and how to use it. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.